After successfully defending his Olympic marathon title in August of 2021, the man, the myth, the legend, the undisputed goat of the marathon, Elliot Kipchoge, is officially set to return to Japan on March 6th of 2022. That's only two weeks from today. Arigato, Kondo Tokyo, Ikemas. This will be Kipchoge's first ever race in Tokyo, and this specific marathon is part of his new plan to win every single race in the World Marathon Major Series, a feat that has never been achieved by anyone in history. Now, these races include Berlin, Chicago, New York, London, Boston, and of course, Tokyo. These marathons are highly regarded as the world's most popular and most challenging 26.2 mile races. To win just one of these marathons, you'll not only need to be one of the most talented and well-trained endurance athletes on the planet, but you'll also need to have the race of your life. Indeed, crossing the finish line first is a pretty rare achievement for a world marathon major. But having said that, Kipchoge already has eight major victories, including three wins in Berlin, one victory in Chicago, and an unprecedented four victories in the London Marathon. This marathon resume goes all the way back to 2014, when Kipchoge won his first marathon major in Chicago. And ever since this very first victory, he has become one of the most iconic names in the athletics world. For almost a decade now, this man has simply been on another level. And to showcase just how fast he's been in these marathon victories, He's run under two hours and five minutes for each one of these majors. And he also owns the official world record, which he set in the 2018 Berlin Marathon. At any pace, in any race, at any time in his career, Kipchoge just knows how to come out on top. But moving forward, his pursuit of marathon immortality will certainly not be easy. If we take a trip back to the 2019 London Marathon, we can see Kipchoge once again displaying an unmatched level of dominance, winning in a new course record time of 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 37 seconds. Now, we've discussed this race in great detail before. In fact, in my personal opinion, I think this race objectively made him the greatest marathon runner to ever live, given that... Well, he closed the second half marathon of this race like a train, including a final two miles of eight minutes and 56 seconds, which to this day is still the fastest closing two mile stretch in any marathon race. With his arms raised to the sky in appreciation of marathon greatness, Kipchoge reached legendary status with this speedy victory. But captured in this one picture is something quite uncommon and that's another athlete who actually managed to finish in the same frame as the great Kipchoge. With a finishing time of 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 55 seconds, Mosinet Garamu from Ethiopia actually finished quite close to Kipchoge in this race, and with this finishing time, he's now ranked as the fourth fastest marathoner in history. Moving into the 2022 Tokyo Marathon, Garamu will actually be one of Kipchoge's competitors on race day, and while this competition will already be very challenging, he will also have to contend with the third fastest marathoner in history, in Burhanu Legese, who ran a time of 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 48 seconds at the 2019 Berlin Marathon. The only thing that could make this race any more exciting would be if the great Kenanisa Bekele also jumped into this field, but we've already been teased for years about the potential clash between Kipchoge and Bekele, so at this point, I'm just gonna assume that this showdown will never happen, which is definitely sad, but also a very real possibility. If Kipchoge hopes to attain the nearly impossible task of winning every single World Marathon Major, he'll have to take down two extremely quick athletes in just two weeks' time, but this is just the beginning of what Kipchoge hopes to achieve, because after Tokyo, he'll already have his sights set forward, taking shots at both New York and the Boston Marathons. Throughout the history of marathon running, no male or female athlete has ever won all six marathon majors, and even though Kipchoge is already 37 years of age, he certainly has a real shot, because despite his racing maturity and incredible longevity in the sport, he still clearly has a huge role to play in the progression of the great marathon. In a recent interview, Kipchoge was once again asked about the potential of breaking his own world record, and with his typical confidence, 
He simply said, yes, absolutely yes. In a normal marathon, or any marathon for that matter, anything is possible. If we take a closer look at Kipchoge's most recent race, which was of course the Olympic Marathon, we can see he ran split times of 1 hour 5 minutes and 13 seconds for the opening half, followed by a much quicker second half in 1 hour 3 minutes and 25 seconds. This victory was very similar to what happened back in the 2016 Olympics, as he ran split times of 1 hour 5 minutes and 55 seconds for the first half, followed again by a much quicker second half in 1 hour 2 minutes and 49 seconds. For both of these races, he won by well over a minute, but what really strikes me with this first performance is that just 9 months after his first Olympic gold, he dropped a superhuman effort of 2 hours and 25 seconds in the Breaking 2 project, which was at the time 2 minutes and 32 seconds faster than the previous world record of Dennis Cometo. This was easily the biggest leap forward in marathon running history, and given his recent performance in the 2021 Olympics, he is clearly in very similar shape to when he almost broke 2 hours in 2017. Now looking forward to this year's Tokyo Marathon, he simply has to be the favorite, and the current course record of 2 hours 3 minutes and 58 seconds set by Wilson Kipsang back in 2017 is obviously in real danger. As we previously mentioned, Kipchoge's abilities to run under 2 hours and 5 minutes are practically second nature at this point, and given his recent marathon training, which we're about to explain in greater detail, there's a case to be made that he very well could attack his own world record from 2018. Since his Tokyo Olympic victory, Kipchoge has only continued his world-class training. As usual, his weekly mileage adds up to approximately 120 miles, or 190 kilometers, and for each week, he does one speed session, a few moderate runs, one long run, and also one fartlek run, which typically adds up to about 15 kilometers in total. In a recent Instagram post, Kipchoge showcased one of his weekly long runs, in which he ran 30 kilometers in 1 hour and 40 minutes, and even though he expressed that his effort was quite minimal, he still averaged a pace of 3 minutes and 20 seconds per kilometer, or about 5 minutes and 20 seconds per mile. Just two months ago, Kipchoge's early season training was documented by OutsideOnline.com, and I'll leave a link down below in the description for the full article if you're interested. But out of all of this remarkable training, which again is well over 100 miles each week, one particular workout that stuck out to me was one of his Tuesday track sessions, where he runs 8 by 1 miles at 4 minutes and 40 seconds, or around 2 minutes and 54 seconds per kilometer, and this speed is at his slowest. It's also important to remember that he runs these times on a dirt track, which clearly slows down overall performance. But what might be the craziest part of this entire Tuesday workout is that Kipchoge says he only runs at an 80% effort. This guy is just incredible. It really does seem as though every part of Kipchoge's training is currently going perfect, and in just two weeks' time, we'll get to see this legend competing in the great marathon distance once again. And now I pass the question off to you. Will Kipchoge go on to win the 2022 Tokyo Marathon? And will he go on to win all six marathon majors? Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.